So probably uh, it was a prelude, no, to our hundred years in 1995. Suddenly, two branches were created. Because during those times, the top branches namin were really the Chinese branches. So the in insular life, na the district manager left to go abroad. So there you came for a district manager to replace him. So in other words, I was promoted from a unit manager Derecho. to a district manager, Derecho. Oh, for for lack of uh, someone to replace the one who resigned, right? You know, it's so difficult to handle people whom you do not know really. Because they were just there and it's so difficult to get their commitment, their loyalty, have learned a lot from them. Parang naging practice ba for me to be able to lead. But it's different when you are the ones that you yes. see. Years no, of your career, uh, it can be said that the life insurance industry uh, is a more male-dominated industry. No? There were more male managers than female managers. Um, what, how difficult or how challenging was it for the two of you uh, to develop, to grow, and to thrive in a male-dominated industry? Welcome to our episode for tonight, which we aptly entitled 100% Activity Ratio Doable This Pandemic. Ayan. Yeah. Hello. Hi, good evening. Kamusta? Maraming salamat po ha, sa very, very heartfelt and warm welcome. So maybe no one cared enough to talk about how important financial planning is to, to my family. And that's the reason why ito pong career na ito, itong negosyo na ito, para sa akin po, hindi lang po ito something na ginagawa ko as a business. But para sa akin, personal po ito sa akin. And hopefully, I can inspire a lot of leaders to accept what is the current reality right now because there's a lot of opportunities where we can expand our business and reach more Filipinos. More than that, help more Filipinos so that no Filipino family would ever experience what we would experience in our lives. Um, well, before I can share you probably the strategy or the structure, maybe for, for all the viewers that who's watching right now, I want you to understand and accept that in the new way, there are actually three ways of working with people. What are these three things? First thing is, inform- first thing is informational. Second is motivational. Third is transformational. Hello, Miss Ida. <laughs> Hello, Jay. Hello, Arty. Thank you Hi. for having me. Keep the salivers in action. Thank you. Good evening. Thank you for everybody watching. Yeah. Good evening, huh? Good evening to you. So most of my team members are millennials. I would say about forty-five uh, percent are millennials. Then, sa Gen X, about 34% are Gen X. Then, we have 20% na boomers. Even when they were already building their teams, no, syempre, busy-busy sila, you and your uh, siblings were somehow exposed also. So, nakikita, nakikita nyo yun. Yes. Siguro maganda yun. Kasi if you want to brainwash your children to join you, bata pa lang siya, i-brainwash nyo na. So yung mga ginagawa nila, yung mga ganun, nakikita namin eh. And slowly, life improved. So somehow, meron siyang effect sa mga bata na nag improve siya. So if there are parents here watching, sabi ko nga, this session is dedicated for you. So if there are also children na kinukulit kayo ng parents nyo, for a reason, nagpakulit din ako eh. Not everybody also will say no nicely. Some will make you feel something eh. So pag nakikita yan ng mga bata, nakita ko yun eh. So, yun yung mga reason na, ay, ayoko, ayoko mag-ganyan, ayoko mag-sales, ayoko mag-join sa inyo. So, so, children na may parents who are backing them up, nagkakaroon siya ng confidence. May backer ako, di ba? Hi, Miss Mariles. Good evening. Hello, good evening, Jay. Good evening, Ivy. Yes, teacher is by showing it, by showing it, by example. I 
got an ID to help me go through all this process. Yun din po yung ano, ina-advise po namin sa aming mga people. That they have to be either creative, but they have no choice but learn how to adapt sa ating bagong situation. No? Every year, syempre, meron kayong dinadagdag ng mga tao sa members nyo. How do your values guide you when choosing the new members of your team? Actually, sir, ano po, uh, I don't want to be in the insurance industry from the very start. <laughs> Ayan. So, nagpa-license po ako. Mas- masunuring bata. Ano <laughs> po, ka karoon ng desisyon na maging leader? May kasabihan, di ba, na mother knows best. <laughs> so, I always think. Yes. So, pag sinabi ni mother, ka na question question sumunod ka na <laughs> around 93% of our population are millennials and gen z we only have nine uh, standing boomers in our agency why did you decide to go into that uh, co-management already also a tough work talaga for one person so she asked me if I can step up and uh, be promoted as a co-agency manager with her so that we can, together, we can manage and grow. As long as you have the trust, uh, trust in the process, so hindi rin ako natakot to step up and and uh, assume the uh, assume the role. Siyempre, as the, as the son, I always uh, I'll defer to my mom. No? Kami yung magpa-fund, pero the leaders are always a big part of the decision-making process. And how do you decide na, o sige, tuloy natin itong naisip natin, paano yun? Paano yung dynamics ko? Uh, madalas, ako yung, nag, uh, ako yung nag-formulate. Right. And then, I would uh, I would run it to mom. I, uh, okay. I would present it to her. And then, she'll, of course, she'll give her inputs. And then, uh, I'll tweak it. And then, uh, present again. Pagka na-present na ulit, then we will show it to our leadership team. Really, uh, ano to, align no, yung inyong uh, uh, proseso no, in, the, in the agency between you and your mom. We, we never forget that we are mom and son first. Una yan eh. You know, even before the business, mag of course, I have high respect for my mom and vice versa, she has high respect for me. And as such, let's say, kunyari, may mga disagreements kami. And marami, nangyayari talaga yan. May mga disagreements, 
the arguments, no? Um, we have a rule uh, between my mom and me, which is to uh, praise in public, but uh, criticize in private. Good evening, Jay. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our episode 7 of season 2. Tonight, we will talk about the dynamics in the agency when two sisters are involved. This is now the third of our series discussing how family-run agencies. Last week, we had a good glimpse of how a mother and son tandem works with insights from Reynold Gunn, and prior to that, a lively conversation with the Borromeo power couple. Tonight, we will have the Sisters Act. Good evening, Mr. Ivy, and good evening to all of you, our dear Thursday Kapamilya here in Leaders in Action. Welcome to another lit conversation with our very young and lovely guests for tonight. But before we move on, we would like to thank again our special guest last week, Agency Manager Reynold Gunn of AIA Philippines, who talked about how he and his mother and co-manager Ms. Edna Gunn jointly run their business, their agency, which is now their company's second biggest in terms of manpower. Agency Manager Reynold spoke emphatically about trust and respect, as well as clarity of roles as the main ingredients to their success. As before, you can again watch that episode on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. Yes, uh, Jay. Reynold actually is very successful in his own right, has his own mind, and has his own dreams. But what is very evident last week also is here his clear understanding of his place in the agency, ensuring that issues are handled properly between himself and his mother. That role acceptance is very critical to their success. Now moving to our episode this evening entitled Sisters Act, we will look into what are the likely pros and cons when sisters work together. Do the benefits outweigh the costs? What are the common issues that arise at work and how are these addressed? What is the impact of their business relationship on their personal relationship? Yes, marami tayong madidiscover tonight, Mr. I.B. For instance, why at a young age, they both decided that this is the work that they would want to pursue at together pa nilang ginawa. Also, we know that millennials and Gen Zs, which our guests are, they have a mind of their own. So gusto nating marinig sa kanila, gusto nating malaman from them, ito ba talaga ang gusto nila? Or is there an element of influence from their mother who is the head of their general agency? Or did the sisters influence each other? Also, Usually, alam natin that bihira sa mga generation today ang tumatagal sa isang trabaho. So it is interesting to learn from them and to hear from them also what their plans are. Do they plan to stay in the business for long? Sabi mo nga, nabanggit mo kanina, meron kayang professional rivalry or healthy or friendly competition between the two of them. And because sila ay magkapatid, talaga bang masasabi nila na trabaho lang at walang personalan? And are they really or should they really be a part of each other's squad? Or do they maintain their own circle of friends? Clearly, these are intriguing questions but are very real, especially in the kind of setup that they have. And given these issues and more, 
we will get some insights and maybe tips on how sisters working together can prove successful not only in running an agency, but more importantly, strengthening the relationship. Paano kaya nila minamanage ang kanilang mga emotions during times na medyo mainit ang usapan? How do they ensure their family ties will not be affected by business issues? And of course, how do they make it fun? Napakahalaga ito, fun working together. Yes, kaya naman hindi na natin to patatagalin Mr. IB because we all want to uh, already hear from our guest. Joining us tonight are these two very lovely sisters, both unit managers of EYJ General Agency of InLife. Both are already Gamma FMA awardees and MDRT qualifiers. Mm -hmm. We were really very happy when they accepted our invite to share their story and you know, so that they can also inspire other young leaders like them listening to us tonight. So, ladies and gentlemen, please let us give a warm welcome to sisters, unit managers, Isa and Julian, or Julian and Isa. Hello. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. So good evening and welcome to Leaders in Action. Again, we would like to thank you for accepting our invitation. I have to say that you have a very good color combination. Napaka, ano, refreshing sa eyes. Uh, may significance ba yung color coding nyo tonight? Itago na lang po natin sa pangalang In Life. <laughs> Companies rebranded colors. So... Kaya blue and orange coming for tonight. Fresh, young. Wow. Mahusay. Mahusay. Mahusay talaga itong dalawa na ito. Again, uh, thank you for being with us, uh, Isa and Jules. Uh, pag nakakakita kami ng mga young nakatulad ninyo, we are happy because that means that the future of this wonderful industry is in very good hands. Huh? All right? So, uumpisa na natin ng conversation. First question, sino bang nauna sa inyong dalawang pumasok sa insurance? Kulaan po natin. Nako, nako baka pag, baka mag, mag, uh, awayin niyo ako eh ha. All right. Uh, is it wait, uh, isa ikaw ba 'yon? Yes, actually. Uh, isa. Okay, isa my question to you is prior to joining the industry, no, what were you doing and uh, what led you to this career? Was it voluntary on your part or did your mother have a hand on this actually i think for me to be able to answer that po no um it's very important for us to mention that we are proud products of um, the life insurance industry, the fruits of the life insurance industry, because our mom has been in the business for 30 years. So, wow. um, yes, we congratulations, are. Huh? Oh, congratulations, congratulations, yeah. mom. Thank you, po. Um, and I know she's watching also. So, hi, mommy. <laughs> um, <laughs> Single-handedly raised us through um, the life, the fruits of the life insurance business. Because she's a single mom, so people would think that because she's she's been in the business um, immediately after graduation, papasa ko kagad sa negosyo. Kaya lang hindi po talaga ganon yung case. Because I worked for um, I worked for four years in corporate. I was with trade marketing. I was with sales. Um, in um, fast. Oh, I was also with PR in those four years. And then, parang one day in 2012, parang nakaramdam na lang ako ng burnout. And Sir Ivy and Miss oh. Jake, was, I was 23 years old. Nakakaramdam na ako ng burnout. Oh, burnout na agad. Oh. I started working 19. Wow. But I burned out sprung from the idea na 
I ha- I had so many aspirations, but parang very limited ng resources na meron ako. So, um, that was when I started looking for other jobs, ganyan-ganyan. But my mom, I don't know if she tricked me into sitting in, sitting in one of the assemblies in Insular Life. And then I heard millennials talk about traveling, talk about, um, you know, making it big as young as 23. Sabi ko, may ganito palang industriya. And then the following days, sir, I, be, I, I handed over my resignation and as they said, the rest is history, di ba? So, that was a bold, huh? bold decision. But, um, I would say talaga, I, I often hear the word trick from parents and family members. But in truth, that's the way of really recruiting you guys, no? <laughs> Eh, ikaw naman, uh, Jules, same question. Uh, what led you to this career? Was it uh, Mommy Elvis uh, fault or was it Sister Isa's doing? Ako? Okay. Ako naman kasi, I came from, uh, I'm fresh off of college yeah. when I did the industry. So, uh, some would assume na ako naman po yung automatically nag-join kasi nakita ko from them. But actually, a uh, bit of a background, I was doing events and radio back in college. Uh, so, alam niyo yun, parang nandun ako sa life ng, ng party all the time. And I think that the last thing I would want to be is <laughs> an insurance advisor. No offense talaga. Ano, napaka-exciting naman talaga ng trabaho natin. But yun po eh, you're coming from two different industries. But then I realized na when I do pursue or should I pursue this um, events industry, it might take time for me. And that's something that's very important for me. Sabi ko, I want to be able to spend time with family, with friends. With diba? nine dogs. With my nine, our nine dogs, diba? Oh, nine dogs. Yes. <laughs> Napakagastos po nila. <laughs> sabi ko, kung mag-events ako, baka I won't get the freedom that I would want. Tapos, hindi ko alam if ako, I was also tricked. <laughs> or nakonsensyon ako growing up kasi I saw that si mommy at si ate, they always went on travels, they always went on trips. So, yeah. I went with that. <laughs> diba? Yun yung gusto ko, di ba? And then I see na yun, parang they're always, um, they have their own time, ganyan, hawak nila yung oras nila. Sabi ko, parang I want that. Pero of course, they had to convince me pa rin. <laughs> of course, yeah, of course. Oo. Oh. Pero kakatuwa, no? uh, nakakatuwa. Again, pero both your background uh, tell us na you love working with people eh. Marketing, sales, si Isa, ko naman, events planning, di ba? Eh, talagang bagay kayo dito sa ating uh, magandang career na ito. But you're relatively new in the industry. My question is, when you, I'm sure when you, when you said yes to your mom and to yourself in the industry, meron kayo mga initial expectations. So ngayon ba where you are after only a few or several years to the business, uh, namimit ba yung initial expectations ninyo? Ikaw? Do you want to go first? Do you as leaders or as... Uh, uh, whatever your initial expectations uh, personally or, or professionally. Oh, na. Ako po, um, no. It's not what I expected. Mm-hmm. But, huh? It's better. It's better. It's right. It feels right. Um, there are days na parang, ganito ba talaga kahirap? <laughs> now, um, you would ask yourself, I thought it was just a walk in the park because that's what I saw with my mom and my sister. Mm. But um, I realized that it's something you have to go through and experience for yourself para malaman at makita mo yung ganda mm. ng industry. Diba? So, it's not something you expect, but it's something better, I guess. Well, well said, well said. Ikaw, Isa? Oh, no. Because I've been in the business for nine years as an advisor and um, relatively new as a unit manager. So, in terms of expectations, medyo gumraduate naman ako doon sa, sa part na um, no, uh, parang medyo ano pa siya, parang very challenging naman to yung ganyan. Kasi parang that was my early stages in the career. Mm-hmm. Um, but as a leader, siguro I want to focus as a leader. It's a pleasant learning experience. Mm-hmm. Um... I would say it's not everything I expected. And that's what I also share with a lot of new leaders. Sabi ko, if ang expectation natin is pagpasok ka agad as a leader, andyan na agad all glory, all perks. 
na ko you're in for the ride talaga kasi um it's really a pleasant learning experience but I, it's something that I am really enjoying right now well uh, i like the word pleasant experience because it simply means that you are able to learn from many disappointments and frustrations and make you a lot stronger diba ganun ang nangyari sa inyong dalawa Uh, yeah. Good answers, ha? Palakpakan ng good answers. Jay? Yes. Yeah, so, again, I, first, I would like to congratulate your mom, si Mami LV, for doing a great job in not tricking you, okay, <laughs> but uh, for showing you no, the beauty of this career. No? Kasi nakita nyo, eh, siya yung naging parang uh, model nyo, no? naging example, a very good example. So, congratulations again, uh, Mami uh, LV. No? So, uh, your mother is the head of the general agency, while both of you, you manage your respective unit units, right? Okay. So, mauna muna ako kay Isa, since you came in first, and you said that you were an advisor for Nine years, tama ba? Yes. Before you became a leader. Seven po, kasi two years ago. So, seven years. Seven years as an advisor and two years as, <clears throat> sorry, as a leader. Can you briefly uh, share with us, kamusta yung umpisa, yung, the early days when you were building your unit under the leadership of your mom? Ah. Okay. Um, well, kasi po, um, actually, day one pa lang, I think I was already put in leadership. Kahit wala pang middle management structure yung general agency noon, I was already put in leadership because um, kami po kasi ni mommy, wala pa si Julian noon. Um, the way we operate is she's admin, ako yung sales training, people management. So ever since po talaga, yun na yung role ko sa, sa agency. But so I thought that the transition to becoming a unit manager would be very easy kasi I've been doing it na eh, di ba? For the longest time. But iba pala talaga siyang, it's a different banana altogether. Because so... I'm sorry po. Pag-actual na, nakita mo na na different pala talaga. Pag may neighbor na, the accountability yes. is there already. Ibang-iba na pala siya. Kasi now, mas focus yung approach mo. You're working closely with people. You're really talking about um, deeper goals. Um, ano yung passion nila? Ano yung gusto nilang mangyari? So, sabi ko, grabe. Ganito pala yun. <laughs> Ganito pala siya. Kasi before, sobrang blurred po nun eh. Um, when wala pa, hindi pa in existence yung middle management structure. Mm-hmm. They can go to me, they can go to mom, they can even go to Julian. So, labula. Medyo ano pa kami nun? Medyo um, wala pang structure talaga. So, yun. And when all these things were happening, were you given enough room by your mom to discover and do things on your own or has she's always been there talagang guiding you in every step of the way well i think just it, it it really goes back to her parenting also yeah um kasi po nung nung lumalaki kami because you mentioned that she's a single mom mm-hmm. she really had to empower us with a lot of things. We had to make decisions also. Um, she empowered us with choosing our course. Um, so she employed that same idea when we started pareho kami in the business na, you know, I have to learn how to trust my kids. But sabi ko nga, I think that also comes with us having to earn that trust. Kasi syempre, hindi naman pwedeng hingin ko lang yung tiwala niya without me proving that I'm worthy of being trusted, di ba? So, it, it really works both ways, eh. Um, she's, she's trying to empower us, but at the same time, we also have to work on earning her trust. Mm-hmm. And uh, so far, you believe that that has been an advantage, that you were given a free hand, that you were empowered by your mom. Definitely po. I mean, sobrang, parang mas madali yung, ano, yung role clarifications namin, mas madali kaming nakakapag-decide on certain things because of that. Thanks, Isa. Let me go now to Jules. Okay, so Jules, you came in three years, no? Three years ago. What do I mean? Tama ba? No? So, uh, okay. So, uh, 
why did you decide? I mean, when I, I, I understand that you were appointed as unit manager almost at the same time, ba? Yes, po. So actually, same kami September 2019. Pareho kayo, no? So, okay. so why did you decide to create your own unit instead hmm. of just joining ISA in one unit? So, right. <laughs> okay. Actually, kasi po, no, I think one of the challenges um, when we were starting our own units was that we weren't following a particular structure. Diba? Kasi we didn't spin off from a, a branch. Diba? Hindi po kasi ganun yung naging structure namin. We built the general agency from the ground up or our mom did. Diba? And so, when we are thinking about um, building our own units, marami kaming naging considerations. Like, oo nga, no, siguro it might be advantageous if we build it ng isa lang kasi at least, number one, we'll maximize natin yung compensation. Diba? Or, number two, uh, mas mataas yung body natin mag recognition sa gamma. Diba? <laughs> efforts in. Um, pero I think po, no, at the end of the day, what we had to focus on were Two things, yung objectives really namin. Important. Oo, yun yung mga naging importante sa amin. I think number one was yung focus. So, nabanggit po kasi na ni ate kanina na um, when we were all just, you know, flat yung ano namin, yung structure namin, everyone would report to everyone. Diba? So, to mommy, to ate, to me. Nung nagkaroon kami ng um, separate units, we now hold ourselves accountable to the people we were working directly with. Ito yun sa mga nakita namin. Gusto namin, natututukan natin sila. Diba? Kasi ganun yung commitment na binigay nila sa amin. Diba? So, dapat, yung, yung sinabi namin na, okay, this is, want you, this is what you want to achieve when you enter this business. Okay, let's do this. Diba? So, when we did our separate units, we were able to really ano yan, parang assist them along the way. So, we were um, able to work with them closely. And then I think the second was um, the culture that we wanted to uphold in our separate units. So, as similar as we may seem right now, di ba? Ang tawag na po sa amin din, San Kambal. Um, hindi natin ma- mapag- mapagkakaila na we also hold different values that we want to uphold for our different units. Di ba? So, ako, I value some, uh, parang iba yung values, early set of values na gusto ko, siya iba din. And eventually, we understood na if we branch out to different agencies, that's a big if naman. <laughs> oh, oh. And when? <laughs> yes, di ba? So, at least, kumbaga, nalatag na natin yung foundations of the kind of culture and leadership and values that we want for our separate teams. But of course, even if magkaiba yung sinasabi natin na yun, it still stems from what the agency believes in at the end of the day, eh, di ba? Hindi rin naman sobrang nagkakalayo yun. But yung mga personalities na lang din and mm-hmm. the people inside the team, di ba, is sometimes also what makes it different. And the free hand to decide. Yes, diba? exactly. For, for empowerment. Yes. <laughs> and again, uh, so far, that decision has proven to be beneficial. Yes, so na lot of this. <laughs> I think one of the, ano, the, the manifestations of that was no na point po kami as unit managers. Um, that was September of 2019. The following month, for the whole quarter, nagpa-drive po si Insular Life um, for activity ratio. So yung activity ratio is... Um, um, diba, well, I think for yeah. everyone naman, it's diba, um, how many advisors are producing um, versus the total manpower. So... Yeah. Diba po? So, when Insular had that drive, parang pataas na activity ratio to go to the beach. Siyempre, beach yan. <laughs> so, nung natutukan namin sila, we were able to um, pull our activity ratio up to as high as 95% even. Diba? From before na parang 50, 60%. Mm-hmm. Ganyan. So, it was really a job. So, nakita namin na more focused leadership might have been beneficial nga po. So, yun. I think no, uh, very well said yung sinabi nyo na uh, it's very important that from the very start, very clear kayo what is the objective. Mm-hmm. No? Because that guided you in your decision. No? Na, uh, your objective is making sure that you have your respective accountability no? and that uh, accountability that you have owned somehow really enabled you to 
properly and effectively lead your respective teams. Mm -hmm. And second, no, I like the candidness no, when uh, Jules said na yung, yung ano talaga, uh, kahit sisters tayo, di ba sabi nga nila, kahit kambal, may pagkakaiba pa rin. No? And that was very clear no, sa inyong dalawa. And uh, somehow that's very important because minsan doon nag stem yung mga maliliit na conflicts. Eh, no? Pero sa inyo, talagang from the very start, eh, very, very clear sa inyo yun. No? And I think that is something that uh, our listeners no, can uh, derive uh, lessons from uh, hearing from you, from the two of you. So thanks. Ah. <laughs> Well, Miss I, I mean, Miss uh, Miss J, I think I know, no, no, um, something I know we really wanna I uh, want to share in this interview is that hindi nyo talaga madale, as in every day we also struggle um, and we also are very challenged in working together. But yon, um, I think we can later, we can talk more about that later. But, yes, yeah. I, I think I think again uh, that's a very candid answer, no. Maybe a follow-up question is, truthfully, hindi yan madali. Uh, Una-una as a unit manager because you've got, sabi nyo nga, accountability because right. yung mga tao nyo nag-commit sa inyo, di ba? And as a responsible leader, you have to put in your best effort as well. So it's not it's not easy, therefore it's difficult. So how do you how do you motivate yourself? How do you put your, your skill best foot forward? Notwithstanding, very aware kayo sa challenges in trabaho. Well, I think it stems first and foremost to knowing who you are, knowing your strength as a leader. Um, kasi po, I think kami, we have lengthy discussions on that. Um, we even give each other feedback as to, alam mo, I think your strength is this. And siya rin ganun sa akin. And it takes a lot of openness and humility to actually accept each other's feedback, di ba? Especially po sa akin because I have been in the business longer. Um, so, ang And like, even older ako sa kanya, di ba? So, um, it really takes a lot of um, humility and openness to do that. But, so, it, it's... It starts with that, knowing where you're good at, knowing your strength, um, and then finding a way on how you can actually make that work together. Hmm. Diba? Kasi, um, sabi ko nga parang it's not about who does it better, hmm. but how can you make it um, work together? Diba? Parang ganon. Ako naman po, I think it's understanding na your responsibility that you're, you don't only wake up for yourself anymore. Mm -hmm. It's that um, kapag ka nagiging mahirap na, you have to remind yourself who you're doing it for. And it's not just for our family, given that this is a family business, diba? Pero ang dami na kasing mga stakeholders mm -hmm. na nandito. So, nandiyan yung clients namin, nandiyan yung advisors namin, of course. And of course, nandiyan yung staff namin. Diba? So, um, when it gets challenging, go back to why you're doing this and who you're doing this for. Oh, kasi we would be lying if we didn't say na during the pandemic, sobrang, we also thought of, you know, and then one time yung pong moments, diba, that we were feeling um, a bit weak as leaders. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's true. Uh, we would get, get out of ourselves and, you know, remember who we're doing it for. I, I like, your your at your uh, age your sense of maturity you know naririnig ko lang yung you wake you don't wake up for yourself anymore sa mga somebody with a lot of kids eh ha eh wala pa kayong mga kids so that that tells again uh, how you have uh, matured in this uh, business no now you said you you are two different individuals and persons uh paki describe nga very briefly yung inyong sarili-sariling leadership style uh, Jules una ka Jules uh, ikaw mo na Jules, uh, anong klaseng leadership style meron ka? And then the same question sa iyo isa, ha? Kaya e natin ko ano yung different. Maybe highlight what's different and what's the same. Sige po. Um I think yung pareho sa amin were both relational. Yes. Okay. We relationships very much. Um we yeah. got it from our mom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the nicest way possible na sabi, the nicest way possible. <laughs> <laughs> But um, I think ako, I would describe my leadership style as very objective. Mm -hmm. 
Siguro it comes with age also. Yung fear kasi na baka people will not take me seriously kasi ako po I handle hello be fun. I handle um, advisors who are much older than me. Um, I handle moms. So uh, parang I had to earn their respect also and I really had to work hard for it. But I also had to be very objective with them kasi kapag sinabihan na nila ako ng eh kasi ma'am, ang dami kong trabaho, napagod ako, napuyat ako, ganyan. I also had to be very objective and go back to the reason why we're talking right now, diba? At the end of the day, it's because you and I are not um, getting you to where you want to be, diba? Eh, yan naman yung gusto natin pareho. Right. So, uh-huh. Okay, good, very clear. <laughs> Ikaw, Isa, anong iyong leadership style o ano yung nakita mo pareho kayo naman ni uh, Jules? Aside naman po from being relational, I think I'm the more nurturing type. Nurturing. So, I'm yung, oh, so where do you want to go? Oh, halika, let's do that. Um, halika, let's do it together. Oh, mag-prospecting tayo together. Oh, ganito natin siya gagawin together. Parang gano'n naman ako. Parang, oh, hindi, I'm with you. Puro ganyan yung mga lives. Mom. <laughs> Very mommy, very mommy yung ano yung yung style. But I think dun dun po nagmamatter all the time. Kasi meron kami na advisor, syempre, na hindi naman nag-respond to that kind of leadership. Yeah. Uh, uh, notes from each other also. <laughs> question, question. Let's say, meron nga kayong si, ano, very objective, si Jules. Ikaw, nurturing, no? So, pwede bang mag-crossover yung isang advisor? Kunwari, uh, Advisor ako ni Jules, pero objective masyado ito. Natatakot ako ngayon. Punta ako kay Nurturing. Pwede ba yun? How do you, how do you, ano, the dynamics? How do you address that? What's nice lang po is even if we're operating as units, we also do a lot of things together. Mm-hmm. So our yeah. unit are very much gelled. Right. So okay. marami kong learning sessions na we hold together. Kasi okay. iba, iba, iba po yung contribution namin dalawa eh. Okay. So, Instead of mag-crossover sila, gawin nilang natin siyang one learning session, di ba? Where we can both spend it. Okay. Parang ganyan. Parang lumaki yung pool. In other words, in business na two separate uh, pool of water, parang isang malaki na lang, mag-swimming no. yan. Parang ganon. O nga, no. mas masaya yun, ha? Alright. Jay? Yeah. Oh, actually, <laughs> kasi uh, actually, uh, just to share na lang din po, our units, our unit names, siya po kasi, you wanna share your unit <laughs> My unit name po kasi is inspired by siguro my characteristics, also the value that I uphold. So mine is Be Fun Nanshal. Be Fun, and Be Fun Nanshal. And it's a wordplay for financial, di ba? Right, so be right, fun. right. Nice, okay. And then for me naman po, since my approach kayo is very nurturing, more on to inspiration, motivation, my unit name is Inspire Financials. With an E. Ah, Inspire Financial. Inspire financials for <laughs> right. Okay, so uh, very nice, very nice. Very, very nice, naman, no? And uh, very good to hear also. Na um, sabi nga nyo, eh, instead of separating, you come together, and in that way, your people get to enjoy the best of both worlds. Ikanga, no? Now, having said that. Alam naman natin that in any sibling relationship, either personal or professional, parang pinawisan kayo kagad. Okay? Uh, hindi natin maaalis, no? Yung tinasabi nating uh, professional jealousy or sibling rivalry or friendly competition, no? Uh, it's, always, it's always there, no? So... Um, eto na real talk naman tayo eh de ba so syempre kahit paano there's some healthy or friendly competition between the two of you how do you manage sibling rivalry how do you manage uh, a professional uh, jealousy considering that you are both managing your respective teams no and at the same time you are still at that stage where in you're still making your individual mark in the industry. So, paano ba ang, di- ang dynamics natin dyan? Meron, bang, uh, meron ba talagang nangyayaring uh, healthy competition? Um, Miss J, sobrang hirap kasi, di ba, syempre, um, and this is as honest as we can be, no? Um, 
we're both women. We're both um, doing the same roles. We're sisters. And we are in a sales job. So, grabe talaga yung pressure. Grabe yung minsan, kahit na hindi kayo nagbabangga, magbabangga talaga kayo eh. ba? Diba? So, sabi nga namin, grabe, minsan-minsan nag-uusap na rin kami kasi parang, Kakapagod, no? <laughs> Kakapagod. But I think one of our advisors, siguro sabihin na natin, mm-hmm. no? one of our advisors shared that with us one time. Sabi niya sa amin, alam niyo, ang galing ng Diyos, no? Kasi ang unique-unique ng binigay na strength sa inyong dalawa na when you put it together, ang ganda-ganda nung napoproduce niyong results. And when we started getting into that mindset na, you know, we're not in competition. We can actually make better results if we collaborate. Diba? So, when we started getting into that zone, at yun na yung realize namin, which was highlighted during this pandemic talaga. Kasi, just an example lang po, when start yung pandemic, um, I was really trying to do a lot of trainings with our advisors. And sure, there were early adopters. Merong mga nagbibenta na kaagad the first no- month natin sa pandemic. Pero ang dami pa rin talaga who were having difficulties. And then what Julian did was she made the meetings more fun. Naglalaro kami sa meetings. We inject music in the meetings. We do a lot of icebreakers. We do a lot of community activities, workshops, ganyan. And then, mas gumanda yung migration. Mas gumanda yung pagkakabumalik okay, yung, yung engagement. Gumalik uh-huh. yung engagement nung, ano, nung advisor. So, sabi namin, there's really, can we call it magic? Magic when we were, no, grabe daw yung magic. <laughs> mas maganda yung napoproduce na result. And we're really very grateful to our advisor for, you know, sharing that with us. Kasi pag kinakain na rin kami ng pressure and dong feeling na yon parang that's a very good reminder to go back you know who you are yes you know who you are mare magmukhang <laughs> <laughs> lahat sila ay nag uh, nagroroot na sa inyo no because i am seeing our uh, chat rooms no dito sa facebook hindi niyo pa mababasa ngayon yan because you're busy with the interview later on you will see all the comments ang raming nagrarara ang raming nagka-clap-clap at oh, oh. Mukhang, uh, ayan, nag-heart-heart na rin sila sa inyo. Ayan, ang dami, oh, lubalabas, heart-heart-heart. <laughs> no, cheering, no, and um, applauding yung mga responses nyo. I, I, I believe there is really a reason, no? Uh, sabi, nyo, sabi nyo nga, as you shared, uh, one of your advisors said na God has really given you unique talents, no? U- unique qualities that when put together, talagang reso, no uh, produce magic ika nga no and maybe that is in preparation no for what you are doing now because no uh, i know that while you are uh, managing your respective teams uh, you are actively okay uh, taking part in the running of the operation of the entire uh, GA already even when Mommy LB no, is still around, uh, kayo ay very active na no, sa pagpapatakbo, not only by of your respective units, but the entire agency already. So when did you start doing a more active role in, in the operations of the agency? And what led you to doing that more active role? Ako po, um, kasi ever since po talaga, um, Nung, nung start pa lang, I was an advisor but I also had a hand in um, running the business. But very clear dapat sa amin ni mommy na okay, itong department ko, ito yung department mo. Sometimes that would overlap and that would of course um, open up a lot of discussion, passionate discussion. <laughs> diba? But um, I think that's, that's what really helped us also. The respect of each other's role and the recognition that both roles are important. Mm. So, no nag start po yun ng 2012, you know, it's always a work in progress kasi we always have to remind ourselves, oh, department ko to, <laughs> department ko <laughs> yun, sabi mo ako dito, ako to. And then, syempre, when Julian also came in, um, it had to be more, it had to be clearer. Hmm. Diba? Kailangan talaga mas clear siya or else, Yon. Kasi at the end of the day, yun nga eh, it's accountability. Hmm. Diba? So, because we have different departments under the agency, 
pagka one department is not performing the same way that we wanted to, di ba? So parang, okay, you know who to go to. We know who to um, call the attention of. Pero, sometimes it's blurred lines. <laughs> So, parang paano yan, no? So, you are respective uh, unit managers of your team, okay? But aside from that, when we talk about the entire general agency, ano yung respective roles nyo as different from that of your mom? Mami po kasi talaga admin na siya ngayon. So, she handles everything, ad- administrative, sort of finance, backroom, sa kanya po yun. Anything um, training related, anything um, content related, that's me. Um, si Dula naman is anything creatives, anything um, uh, fun, <laughs> energy giving programs. Yeah, engagement programs. Mm-hmm. Si Julia naman po yan. And recruitment also. She also champion recruitment naman. So. Very, very clear. Mm-hmm. We try po. <laughs> And so far, talagang yung arrangement na yan no, is uh, working uh, effectively in the in the team. Huminga <laughs> talaga. Um, kasi Ms. J, you wanna... You wanna share that? Oh yeah, siguro ano, it's a work in progress every day. Hmm. That's a, that's how I would like to put it po. It's a work in progress every day. We need to remind each other of it every day. It's not a walk in the park, it's not smooth sailing, but we learn every day from it. So and I think you should um be a little ano to, no, kinder to yourself because remember naging unit manager kayo paumpisa yung pandemic eh. Diba? Kakaumpisa nyo palang maging unit manager, biglang nag, nag-pandemic na, and then you were thrust into this kind of uh, situation. But uh, you manage, di ba? So sabi nyo nga, we are all work in progress. no But so far, no uh, from how I am uh, seeing the both of you, no, eh, mukhang maganda naman ang inyong uh, nagiging arrangement. Siguro, Jay, Jay mentioned about uh, you came in last year as leaders no? at the time that the entire world uh, is introduced to something that happens only once every 100 years. No? So, paano nakatulong yung inyong working together during the time when the pandemic started? Ano nga ba? <laughs> Siguro po, um... Because we are sisters, naging natural sa amin yung compassion, yung extending compassion towards one another. Na, okay, um, if you feel na the other person cannot perform today, then you step in. Diba? You step up. So, saluhan kami. Uh, another thing, I guess it was also an advantage that you were going through a pandemic and you're going through a very difficult process with someone who understands exactly what you're going through. Mm-hmm. Diba? So, mm-hmm. uh, may problem siya with her team or ako. Um, I have struggles also with my team. It's very easy to engage in a discussion kasi alam nyo na pareho kayo na pinagdadaanan eh. Diba? And you can really forgive one another. <laughs> Kapag ka, halimbawa, sinabi ng isa, parang ayoko munang magano mag myself today. Okay. <laughs> So, again, very clear sa inyo yung, ano, ano, yung openness uh, sa bawat isa. Na parang very natural na eh. No? Now, I just want to point out, kanina sinabi nyo, you, you are able to give feedback to each other. Kasi one of the challenges ng mga family-run businesses actually is the lack of feedback. Kasi nga, nahihiya o natatakot yung isa na masaktan yung kabila. Di ba? In your case, it seems to have come naturally. Is it because, again, The way you were nurtured when you were kids, ganun ba yun? O papano? Papano naging very natural at hindi nasasaktan yung isa, lalo, lalo na kung yung feedback medyo matindi? Actually, ano, um, boss IB, I think, um, very important talaga yung clarity and the objective. Kaya in every discussion that we'll have, okay, ano objective natin dito? Lagi kami ganun. And usually, dyan kami madaling nag agree pag agree kami sa objective, usually the conflict starts pag pinag-uusapan na namin how to get to the objective. Correct, correct. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, oh. 
interesting actually yeah, kasi <laughs> nagkakaroon kami ng levels of discussion dyan. Oh, Hindi okay. So, yung first level of discussion namin, o oh, sige, oh, ito yung objective natin. Uh, agree. Then, oh, mm-hmm. Agree ka. Okay, agree. Oh, ito yung ganito yung gagawin natin. So, second level namin is negotiation na yan. <laughs> kung may yung gawin natin, um, what do you think? Siguro maganda kung ganito, no? Pero pero parang maganda ka pa ganito eh, di ba? What do you think? Yes, oh, maganda. Oh, okay. Oh. Kasi namin ma-resolve doon. Dahil nga po, Aries women kami. <laughs> Kahit si mommy po is an Aries woman. So we're very passionate. We're very stubborn. <laughs> oh, stubborn. Uh. So, nagkakaroon talaga ng passionate discourse. Hmm. Di ba? Nag-uusap kami na parang, hindi mo naiintindihan. Ganito yan. Ito yan. Tapos sasagot siya na, but you're negating the, the whole objective. Ganyan. So, it doesn't make sense. So, pag gano'n na po yung ano namin, we go back again to the goal. Ano ba yung objective? Okay. Di ba? Well, usually, pag bumalik po kami sa objective, nasasolve namin siya ulit. Kasi parang, o oh, sige, pagod lang tayo. Di ba? Pagod lang tayo. Um, siguro, ano na lang to, unpok na lang kasi 12 midnight na. So, balik lang tayo sa objective. But, we would also be very honest na hindi po all the time nasasolve namin siya. Kasi, umabot pa siya sa level 4. Ano yung level 4 natin? Yung ano, yung okay level. Okay level. Okay. Na, niyo po, ano, no? Ah, okay na sila, bati na sila. Uh, ano yun? Ano muna, truce muna kayo, truce, ganun. Wala nga po eh. Alam mo nga po, ang sasa- like recently, parang we had that discussion. Sabi ko sa kanya, hindi, I stand my ground. O oh, lumalabas oh, eh, pagiging ate. Oh, I stand oh. my ground. I think this is what we should do. Oh. At ang sagot niya, okay. <laughs> okay na lang. <laughs> okay. Tapos sa tayo siya mag-walk out siya, pupunta na siya sa room. Um, you know, we have these discussions na people don't see, our advisors don't see. Oh. But, what's very clear lang po is, tomorrow, mm-hmm. if we have a meeting or we have a project, the objective is so clear to both of us na we still give it our 100% with that objective in mind. And hopefully, hindi naman nila nakikita yung conflict at the back of the curtain, di ba? So, and trust that the other person will deliver. deliver. Exactly. So, so question na, okay, de, natapos yung conversation. Ito si Jules, sinabi, okay, pero mabigit ang kalooban. So, hindi nyo pa na-resolve. Kinabukasan, how do you resolve it? No, po, after nung meeting, and the meeting turned out well. Gagawin ko lang, bababa ako. Magka-fist down kami. Tapos na yun. <laughs> Well, well, I see is really you're doing your best to be as objective as you can, no? As mm-hmm. rational as you can. And then uh, later on, saka na kayo mag-ate at mag, uh, mm-hmm. mag-sister act siguro, no? Now, uh, it appears that talaga you're spending a lot of time in this business and really, really uh, making sure that your commitment is there, no? Ang tanong, meron pa ba kayong oras outside of your life building your teams and your agency? <laughs> Um, ikaw mo lang muna. <laughs> um, I think the beauty of this business is, yun nga, yung pinag-usapan namin siya actually, even before the pandemic started, sabi namin, alam mo, um, one of these days, this will all make sense na itong pagpuyat natin, it's because ang ultimate objective talaga natin is to be able to build a system that works for us and eventually sustainable. Oh, sustain na, ito-transfer na lang namin siya na ito-transfer sa mga leaders. So, ngayon po, I'd like to believe naman na we're very far na from yung initial start po ba ng leadership natin. Kasi medyo may mga modules naman na kami in place. So, um, we are still able to go out when we need to. <laughs> it was an adjustment po mm-hmm. talaga. And it comes also with understanding why we're doing it. Mm-hmm. Diba? There were days that we had to work harder than others, mm-hmm. other days. Um, yeah. Kasi That, that's really anyway. Um, there's the project that we have to work on. We have to bring in um, certain certain objectives, certain goals in the group. So we have to work harder. Pero the good thing lang then is because we're sisters, we're kinder to each other. Mm-hmm. It's so one of us needs to take a break, mm-hmm. de ba? So oh, sige, I'll step in for you. Oh, ikaw naman step in for me, de ba? Parang ganon. So this is self care, you know. We had to remind ourselves. Na, oh, you have to take care of yourself, because you can take care of other people if you exactly. don't take care of yourself. Correct. Very true. Very true. Jay? Para wag kayong ma-burn out ulit. <laughs>
Diba? Kita <laughs> at the age of 23. Uh, when you were mentioning kanina na pag meron kayong mga uh, discussions no, or disagreements, gusto ko lang malaman, uh, when does your mother usually step in? <laughs> Or does she allow you, bahala kayong dalawa, you resolve it on your own? Pag at world midnight na po, bahala na kayo. <laughs> <laughs> Kapag ang mga nasa ano pa, tamang oras pa, like mga 5pm, ganyan, 6pm, madirinig niya kami sa office. She's gonna step in. She's gonna listen to both our points. Where are we at? Yeah. And then she's gonna find merit in both naman. So parang, I think this works, okay? This one lang, you might have to, ano, but it's nice. Lagi siyang ganun. So parang, kami, <laughs> I'm so, ano, pag nakikita niya, hindi na kami nag-uusap, kasi sobrang, ano na, ayan, papasok na, ano bang problema natin? Pag-usapan na natin yan. May ganyan na siya. But basically, she really tries to give us the, the that liberty, yeah, yeah. diba? To resolve all our issues on our own. Kasi sabi niya, sabi nga niya, matatanda na kayo. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think, uh, unfortunately, I'm down to my last question. Okay. Ganun kabilis. Tayo ay patapos na sa ating uh, pentuhan. No? We're uh, having so much fun na hindi natin napansin. No? Uh, mag, ano na, sobrang 45 minutes na pala tayo nag-uusap-usap. So, for my uh, last question, um, what do you, siguro sa after everything that you have said, no, Parang in a uh, nutshell, what do you consider as the biggest advantage of having each other no, as, a, uh, as a business partner? And how do you make sure that you enrich that even more? Mm. Um, I think nung nag-start po yung show natin, you said na um, does it outweigh the, advantage, uh, the disadvantages? And kami, when we were talking about it, and we can really confidently and honestly and most sincerely say that it does. Kasi I go back to the time po na I was just starting out at work. And um, favorite ko kasi talagang i-date si Julian nung bata pa siya. Nung wala so pa ka date Yes, we would go out on a date. Um, wala nung wala ko ako date <laughs> So, we, um, naalala ko, pumunta kami nun sa isang mall sa Makati. Tapos, very little pa lang kasi yung salary ko. I would, sabi ko, Julian, kwek-kwek lang tayo ha. There's a kwek-kwek stand in that, um, ano, kwek-kwek lang tayo ha. But I think what matters is we're together. Now, in, now that we're in this business, we're able to enjoy a lot more in life. Diba? Because of that, of the sacrifices that we have to do. Um, because of the hard work that we are able to do together. We're able to experience more in life. So, ngayon, pag nag-debate na kami, pwede na kayo mag-splurge a little, pwede na kayo mag-shop together. <laughs> diba? And we can also talk about investments together. Diba? So, um, I think that's one of my my most ano it it sounds ano po no it sounds as if it's just material things pero hindi eh parang it's the quality of life that mm. you want to be able to enjoy together diba so ikaw <laughs> advantage pass <laughs> no um I think one advantage po talaga it's an advantage but actually even a disadvantage it's um, knowing the other person really 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 well <laughs> empathy on the really kasi um disadvantage siya kapag kami mga times na nagkakainisan na kami we disagree already diba alam na alam namin how to really get the person off <laughs> but it's also an advantage kasi you know when the other person needs help you know when the other person needs backup diba and i think that's very important in a business para kang may plan b Always when your plan A doesn't work. Mm-hmm. Diba? So, isa yun sa mga nakita ko po talagang advantage. It's knowing that whatever, um, ano yun, parang pitfall, whatever landslide you go through, there. Diba? someone's there to catch you, someone's there to, parang may sasalo sa inyo, may safety net ka, so you don't completely crash and burn naman to the bottom. Come to ate! Parang dog. Come to ate! <laughs> Uh, question uh, related to that, uh, with your enriching experience no, in the last uh, several years together in the business, what piece of advice naman, uh, can you give to other siblings 
who are deciding uh, to work together and uh, in this business? Um, for me, it really starts with um, knowing what you bring to the table mm. and be certain about that. Um, kasi at the end of the day, sabi ko nga rin po kanina, it's not about who does it better, mm. but it's really bringing your strengths together and thinking, how can we make our business better? Mm. Kasi it's really not about ano eh, who does it better, who, who's the better unit manager. Hindi naman eh. Mm. It's one business that you're running. So what do you bring to the table? How can we marry that? And how can we make our business better? I agree. Um, at the end of the day, you're in business not to prove na, oh, I'm the better sister. I'm the better <laughs> <I'm> sibling. <laughs> Um, you're here in the business because of the objectives that you've laid out, the goal that you want to achieve for your agency, and I mean, the stakeholders, the yeah. people you're with in this journey, the reason why you're doing this and who you're doing it for. So again, we're still in the hindi It's para sa you, hindi to para sa atin. Lang, yeah. lang, yes. It's for everyone around us. So again, clients, friends, family, future family. Um, staff and uh, advisors naman, of course, Team EYJ. <laughs> <laughs> so talagang consistent kay that you don't wake up for yourself anymore, no? My yeah. final question sa inyo, no? Uh, what is the lesson that you've learned from the other or from your mother? Um, ako kay Julian, I've learned that you have to be a giver of energy. Um, because sometimes it's not all about goals. It's not all about, um, you know, just just talking it out with your your um, advisors. Sometimes all they need is an ener- is energy, is a smile, diba? A smile that would listen, a smile that would say, you know, you did a good job. Even if you weren't able to close this, you, you did a good job. And that that I learned that from her. Um, siya yun, siya yung giver of energy. So, yun, especially since we have a lot of, um, meron po kaming mga 8 a.m. huddles every day um, that with our advisors. So, imagine not doing that with energy. <laughs> di ba? Kung walang energy, baka wala na. <laughs> wala na kung attend nun, di ba? So, yun yung natutunan ko siguro sa kanya. With ate, I think it's always striving to make an impact on someone's life. Oh, wow. Okay. Nice. Lagi niyang sinasabi yan. Parang, ano yung sinasabi mo lagi, di ba? As long as you're still making an impact. Yeah, and that it's not all about numbers at the yes. end of the day. Hmm. No, we can't we can tie our worth. Yes. So, yun. It's it's always making sure na at the end of the day, hanggat may naniniwala sa'yo, hanggat may willing na magpaturo, willing na mag-grow, then you are may ready. purpose ka pa. May leader, leader ka pa rin. Very nice. Yeah. And finally, from your mother, anong natutunan nyo? Isang, isang lesson. Ako siguro, ano, invest, invest in your stakeholders. Okay. And we don't mean financially. Mm-hmm. Um, really invest um, time, um, build relationships. Build relationships. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, you are not where you are without them. Mm-hmm. So, um, siguro po ako yun. Parang grabe kasi yung mom namin talaga pagdating sa ganyan. Um, kaya sobrang love din siya ng mga advisors namin. Um, pag siya na yung kumausap, kahit natatakot sila, talagang sasagot sila ng phone. Because they know that it's coming from a place of love. And it started with her investing in them, di ba? And not, that's not financial. That's beyond, beyond Much deeper. Yeah, much deeper. Juice. It's really learning to trust people. Oh, yeah. right? So it's um, understanding the power of empowerment also. So hindi ka rin makaka-arangkada ng mabilis right? if you leave all to yourself. Oh, yeah. So yeah, really trusting everyone. And I'd, ano, parang making it understanding that everyone works because ano yun, yun your responsibility. Nila. And if you don't learn to trust them, then you cannot move forward back. Well, at the, at the start of the conversation, you already mentioned about empowering, and empowering is all about trust, no? Jay? Okay, okay. so uh, thanks, Isa and Jules, for raising no, our program <laughs> with your presence tonight. Eh, talaga namang, uh, 
you added life, you added color, no? And uh, definitely na naging napaka light and but very bubbly and very informative ang naging discussion natin tonight. But we are not yet done. Okay? So nandito na tayo sa fun part. Uh, hindi ko man hindi ko ulit magagawa ang uh, fast talk because there's two of you. So ang gagawin natin is what I call sisters trivia. So, how well do you know each other? So I requested you uh, to make a props. Ayan, no? So may pangalan kayo, no? So uh, Jules and Isa Baliktaran. Thank you at napakaganda ng inyong ginawa. I wasn't expecting. Akala ko band paper lang na may pangalan. Prepared. <laughs> hindi kayo prepared, no? Yun lang ang mas <laughs> hindi kayo prepared na dalawa. So uh, okay, so magtatanong nga ako ng question lagi nag-uumpisa sa sino? Okay? And kung sino yung sa tingin niyo fits, no? The description, lagay niyo lang yung pangalan, okay? Either your sister or yourself okay so tingnan natin kung sabi niyo nga kanina you know each other very well so tingnan natin kung talaga nga yan ha so ready na tayo okay yes ba mag copy ka tatalo dapat mabilis ha walang isip isip okay so unang question sino ang mas helpful sa gawaing bahay oh very good it's good Huh? Agree, agree. Okay. Sino naman ang mas fashionable? Uy. Oh. Okay. Sa paningin yung is ng isa't isa pareho kayong uh, fashionable. Okay, next. Sino ang mas OC or mas detailed, neat freak? No. Parang pareho. It depende po eh. So, sa naman sa gamit. Si Stop, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So, good. Okay. Kayo on your own rights. Yes. Okay. Oh. Sino ang mas ligawin sa inyong dalawa? <laughs> oh, Mano na si ate, si Jules daw. Ayaw ni Jules. Okay. Oh, so, si Jules ang mas ligawin. Oh, next. Parang alam ko kung sino to. Si, si Mami. <laughs> ha? Sorry? Gawin. <laughs> Lagot tayo kay Mami. Okay. Uh, next question. Sino ang mas ano, uh, mahilig sa gimmick or party lover? Okay, Jules. Sino ang mas health conscious? Si <laughs> Mami. Ayong dalawa, wala. O, sino, okay. sino ang mas magaling magluto? Mas marunong po. Hmm. Okay, mas marunong. Okay, o oh, ito. Sino ang may love life ngayon? Ikaw yung magtaas. Oo, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, as a Jules. Ano ba? Ah, pareho. Okay, pareho. pareho. Okay. Sino ang mas workaholic? <laughs> si ate. Okay, and last... Okay. Sino sa tingin sa tingin niyo pero kinakabahan na siguro si Mami LV ngayon. Sino sa tingin niyo ang favorite daughter? Yung bug po na si Summer, si Summer. Ah. Pero sino kayo talaga binab binabati niyo sa ate niyo eh. Ayun. Sino sa tingin niyo? Ayun. Ito po. Ayun. Okay, okay. Sige. So yun lang ang aking question, no? So uh, thank you very much. Uh, you gave us a uh, deeper side, no, of uh, Isa and Jules, no, by answering that question. So thank you for being game and uh, nag-enjoy kami. Sana ay nag-enjoy din kayo. Uh, Ito po palang feeling maging artista. <laughs> <laughs> no? Thank you very much for your very generous and uh, sabihin ko ng very real no sharing on how uh, sisters no can also be very successful business partners uh, sabi niyo nga it's not always smooth sailing but as i as we can see it from each one of you it can be a very fun adventure you know i'm i'm still shook whenever i hear young people no young leaders like isa and um, Julia, no, whenever they share, 
clearly the young generations have to be heard more and they have to be taken more seriously because you really have a lot to offer. You have fresher and uh, newer, you know, sometimes even better ideas to share you know, and to put on the table. You know what you want now and what you want to happen you know, in the future for you and for your team. You want to make a difference. You want to make an impact. And most of all, most importantly, you still have the, a great deal of passion and energy to do what you want to do. Exactly all the qualities that we need in a leader. At nasa inyong dalawa yan. Wisdom and experience will follow uh, with the passing of time. No? So, uh, pero listening sa inyo kaninang dalawa, I can already hear a lot of words of wisdom at para na kayong experience na experience sa trabaho na ito. I personally admire how you appreciate and how you put value uh, to what your mom built with her life and how you are improving it and how you are taking it to the next level by making it a big part of your lives too. So to you, Isa, uh, Jules, and to your mommy, LV, and to the entire EYJ agency, all the best, not only for this year, but in the coming years ahead. So uh, good luck and thank you again to both of you. Again, uh, thanks uh, Isa and Jules no, for uh, again sharing your wonderful story with us. Kitang kita naman that uh, you really have a genuine love and respect for each other, no. And again, thanks to the way your mother uh, nurtured you all through these years single-handedly. You see, when when the sisterly bond is so strong, kitang kita it extends to the business and helps make that business grow. Uh, you feed from each other, you do you draw strength from each other, and clearly you support each other unconditionally. Even at times, nago okay, okay na lang kayo, no? Pero in the morning, you're again together as one, no? And this is a recipe for a successful business. Well, they say that there are a lot of disadvantages when two sisters are involved in the same business. But with the right formula as shared by you and as proven by your experience, the business will actually thrive, no? And our hope is that a lot more siblings will be inspired by your example and work together and as i mentioned earlier to make sure that this industry will really expand and reach out to a lot more people again thank you to the both of you so thanks again everyone for joining us tonight and making us your uh, regular thursday habit thank you for joining our conversation with sisters isa and julian uh, we hope that you learned, you enjoyed and learned a lot from their sharing as we did. You can watch the full episode from uh, on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, follow, share, and subscribe so that you will be notified on our future episodes. Isa and Julian, I hope you can uh, follow our... Um, Facebook page and you can share this with all your team members so that we again no, continue to grow our uh, community of sharing and learning agency leaders. No? And you can also make leaders in action your weekly Thursday habit. Um, Jules and Isa, I also like would like to thank si friend natin, si Camille Francisco. No, si Camille, no, si Cams ang uh, nag ano tama no, ang bagaba naglink, no, naglink sa amin sa inyong dalawa. Alam mo Mr. IB ngayon ko lang napansin, no, naging suki tayo ni Camille ngayong <laughs> second season natin. Because if I'm not mistaken, pangatlong guest na tayo from in life. No, we have manager Malu Romero. And then we have Miss Ida Sheng Hakob, and of course now the sisters Jules and Isa. So, Camille, maraming salamat, salamat at sa uulitin, ha? 
Thank you, Camille. And again, that simply uh, testifies to the beautiful stories that we have uh, in the industry now. And again, uh, thanks to In Life. Naku, next week is already the last Thursday of October. And uh, it will also be our last episode in our Kapamilya series. And to close our family theme month, we will have as our special guest, the Sekitin family from Sun Life Philippines with branch manager Gigi, sales manager Nelson, and unit manager Janelle of the Hyperion NBO. They will be sharing with us the dynamics when the entire family naman engages engage in the business. So this is one, again, going to be an exciting and insightful uh, conversation. Yeah, so Isa, Jules, and to all our viewers, we again invite you next week uh, uh, for another episode of uh, Family Team natin sa Leaders in Action. We will see that sa in ang insurance business is not only pang mag-asawa, hindi lang sila pang mother and son, hindi lang pang sisters, but pang, pang buong pamilya. At yun po ang maririnig natin next week. So again, that will be next Thursday, October 28, 8pm here in Leaders in Action. Real leaders, real stories, <laughs> and real talk. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank, Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Salamat. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Take care.